Hi guys, here we are again with another short how do I do this video. And this one, how do I cut out a circle or a shape from an image or a photograph in Affinity Photo on the iPad. And as usual, I'm starting off with a 6x8 uh, canvas here. It's very, very familiar by now. And what I want to do is place a photo on the backboard. Right, so this will be my background. And... Let's have a look. There we go. And I'll place it right over the image. I want that as far out as I can get. Let's drag that down a little bit. There we go. It's covering the whole canvas and it's still in proportion, you'll notice. So now that's made that fairly small. But what I want to do is put a circle or a triangle or some other shape so that that background just throw, shows through on it. So let's put a, a rectangle over the top of it. That's easily done. I just put in the rectangle. There we go. Let's have a look at the layers panel. Now there's the rectangle I just drew. There's the photo. Photo there, rectangle over the top. You can see them, turn them on and off, and the rectangle there. Now, I want to cut a shape out of that whole business so that just the shapes part of the um, background shows through. So let's go back down here. You can see what I've got on the side there. Now, what can we use in there? There we go. Look, there's a heart shape I've got down there now. And you can see that there, heart shape. Oh, and that's just drawing a little line there. We don't want that. And we don't want that. So we're back there, we've got two layers, but we've got a heart shape. I've obviously left the thing on there too long. So let's make the heart a slight greenish yellow colour. Doesn't matter what colour it is because it'll disappear. And we'll put that there, but it's very easy to see. Let's drag that out so it's over there, then I'll centre it in the document because that's, that way it'll be centred on the image as we display it. Now, I want to cut that shape out. out of, and I want to cut it out of the white layer so that only the image below it is um, showing through there. Let's expose that image by going down right up the top there. You can see it. Now, geometry and subtract. Ah, and why didn't that work? Because I didn't have both layers selected. Now, if, that, if you come across that, that's why. Select both layers on the right-hand side there. Then go over there to Edit, then go to Geometry, and then go to Subtract. And there you have it. White background and just the image below it um, exposed in that section. Let me step back through there and show you that again. Now, none of those layers, you can see there, none of those layers are selected. There's that turned off and that turned off. There's our yellow heart. There's our white, back, white overlay, shall we say, and the coloured image or background. Now, Select that layer, select that layer. The one on top is the one that's going to subtract, subtract the shape so it becomes just the heart shape. If they were the other way around, it wouldn't do it properly. Go over there to Editor, top left-hand corner there. Go down the list to Geometry, and from Geometry, select Subtract. And there's your image showing through. You can now put text or whatever you like around that image. Um, and whoever you're sending that card to, they'll say, wow, how did you do that? That's all there is to it. And of course, there are a lot of variations to that. And I encourage you very strongly to experiment. See what you can come up with. The geometry shapes or the geometry tool in the editor tool over there, geometry, you can have some fun with those things. Okay, 
let's go back there and we're back to square one. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe. I hope you find these little tools useful.